Hey crafty friends, welcome to day three of the 14 days of crafty love uh, series here on my channel for Valentine's Day. Uh, today we are going to make these really cute and simple altered uh, paper clip embellishments using our scraps and just some paper clips that we have in our stash and these are just some stickers and things that I already had. So I have started one um, here and the base is just some thin uh, cardboard or chipboard, whatever you have in your stash. You could use a cereal box um, and the size of this is one and three fourths across and one and a half inches tall. So let's see, this I believe is already one and a half, so I just need to cut this to one and three fourths. This was the leftover piece from making the other two. All right, so now we have the base for our embellishment. And then all you need is just some scrap papers, whatever you have. I have some, uh, just some envelopes here with lots of different scrap papers. So let's see, I have these parts here and I really wanted to use this paper um, in the award ribbon. So I think I'm gonna grab this one or also have this really pretty pink hearts. I think I will use this one. So then we need to cut this down. Again to one and three fourths. And one and a half and I'm going to cut two of these one for the front and one for the back All right, let me put my scraps away all right and then I'm just going to Add this to the little piece of chipboard that I have just using some of my um, adhesive from my tape runner and some on this one All right, so I'm gonna trim. I'm gonna trim the bottom here just a little bit. Just to get rid of some of that raw edge. And trim the side here. All right. And then I am, I didn't ink these two, but I am going to ink this one because it has the lighter paper. So I'm just going to grab my black ink and just ink this up a little bit. You could use whatever color ink you have or I showed um, in... Our video for day one for our tags that you could use just a black magic marker all right so now we have that and then I need to punch my holes to hang my paper clips so I'm going to grab my crocodile to do that you could use a hole punch uh, you could use, you know, 
a pokey tool to poke your holes. Uh, whatever you have in your stash will work. And I'm going to use the smallest hole here. And I'm using the edge of this here for knowing how far in to punch my hole. That's kind of my guide. See if I can show that. So as you can see right here, this lines up with the edge of the paper. And then I punched it. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this other side. And punch it. All right, and we're done with the crocodile. I'm not going to add any eyelets in this. I'm just going to leave the holes uh, just like they are. I have a little bit of paper here, so I'm just going to use my pokey tool and kind of go around the hole and kind of move that paper out of my way back into the hole so it's not so um, rough looking. This, this one I can trim. All right. So now we have that, and let's see, I have a pretty pink paper clip. I think that would look really cute on this one, this pink, because of the pink on here. So let's use that, and then let me grab, and you can decorate this before you add it on there, or decorate it now. I'm going to grab two silver jump rings but I'm gonna go ahead and add this on to here and then we can decorate so my jump rings just came in a box like this this I found this on Amazon and I've had it for over a year and you can see there's still so many eyelets left in there So I think I'm going to add the eyelets one at a time. And I'm just going to use my tools to help me finagle this. Let's see, actually I'll add it to the actual thing. And you want this part of your paper clip here to be at the top. So then we will add that and then I'm just going to use my two tools here and close this up and then we will add the other jump ring. And again I think I'll add it to the actual little embellishment and then add it to the paper clip. All right, we'll close this one up. Just making sure that it's closed good. So there we go. Now it's ready to decorate. So what I have is I have some felt hearts from the Dollar Tree and then I have some little hearts um, and just some random stickers and things in here. 
So for this one, I think I want to use this pretty pink and this one here with the lips maybe. So let's do that. And this is a sticker, but I'm gonna leave this backing on and just glue this part down to let the one side hang off. So I have my hot glue gun ready. And let's see. I'm just gonna add some hot glue gun on or hot glue on here and set this down. And then I'm gonna grab my little heart here, and it has a little already has a little pop dot. Um, you could pop it up more if you wanted to. And I'm gonna add a little bit of glue to that because this sticker's been in my stash for a while. And just sort of off center that there. And then this one I layered an even smaller heart up. Um, and I have like these random like stickers in here from all different collections. Um, so let's see if we can find a heart in here that we could use. I need to have these a little better separated, but um, I just had them all in here together. We have, this might be cute with this one. So we'll leave that one out. There we go. We could use, that one's a little bit bigger. This one says, hooray. Here's a small heart. We could use that there. See, I think I've used quite a bit of the hearts in here. There we go. Pucker up. That's kind of perfect. So let's see. Maybe I'll add that one there. And I am going to pop this one up. And this one is a sticker as well. But I am going to... Pop that one up, just using some of my foam tape. All right, so let's see, I'll center this one over here like that and do I need this? I was going to put this moi here, but since I have this that says pucker up, I'm not sure I want to add that here as well. I kind of like it just like this. So I'm going to call this one done. For now, we're going to add a little bit of bling to it. And then we have um this one here so maybe add a red felt heart i've also got these cute butterflies all right let's see let's grab a pink Grab a pink heart. All right, let's do a pink heart and maybe this love. So we have this. And maybe one of these smaller red hearts here. There. And then we have moi or this best friends. That might be cute. Let's use the best friends. So let me add some glue here. 
of that one. And then I'm going to pop uh, both of these up. Just to give it some more dimension. Okay, let's see, I need to trim it just a little bit for the smaller heart. All right, so we'll start with this one. This one's cute. It reminds me of uh, like mermaid scales. All right, we'll add that one there. And then we'll do the little red heart next. Let's see, I might need to add a little bit more dimension to the red heart. Nope, that works out perfect. There we go. And then let's see, let's do, let's do the best friends. I keep pulling my little uh, mat down today. Add a little piece of the foam tape there. There we go. That's super cute. Super cute and super easy and just using everything that I already have here in my stash. There we go. And I've had these, I've had these, this bunch of stickers since last Valentine's Day. And then these came from Dollar Tree this year. All right. So we have these finished. Now let's add some bling. And let's have my bling in this big um, Michaels box. Let's do maybe some red or have pink or even have some tiny hearts. Let's see, I like this pink. Let's do a little bit of the pink on this one. And then maybe we'll do red on this one. Let's see, do I have the red pearls? I think I might have some red pearls that would look cute or I have these. Let's see, I just got these at Joann's. And they're very, like, iridescent. They kind of blend in, though. We definitely want a pop of color. So, let's see here. All right, I do have these red ones. These are from the Dollar Tree. But I think I like these better. So let's go with these. See if we can get two to fit here at the bottom together. There we go. So we got some bling on both of those and I think this one's good I'm not going to add any bling to that because this heart is kind of blingy all right so we have our bling on there and then we can just add a tassel or a wire wrap bead so let's see I have two tassels here and I also have I started wire wrapping some beads so I have these wire wrapped beads in here this one might be pretty with this one because it's got that teal or this this bow might be pretty here 
or we have that one's a little bit big the butterfly too would be cute Let's see I also have a pink butterfly and the butterfly might be cute on that one I don't have anything with any beads with little uh, lips on it I think I kind of like the bow maybe hmm let's try the butterfly all right so let me grab two more jump rings and for the tassels I just looped the tassels through the actual paper clip. I just separate it with my fingernail and then just kind of loop it on there. I'm going to close this ring on this tassel up a little bit though. There we go. So we have the tassel. We, we can add the beads or we could just add the beads and leave the tassel off let's see what it looks like with both of them on there that's cute there we go that turned out really cute so I think I'll leave both of those on there and then maybe for this one we'll just do the butterfly since it's a little larger See what that looks like mm, actually I think I might like the uh, just the tassel on this one the butterfly seems a little bit big for this so let's just do the tassel and the tassel will go the opposite direction on this one Actually, I think I'd like the tassel over here. So what we can do is just open this up slightly and then add it on this side of the clip and close it. There we go. Yeah, I definitely like the tassel better on this one. Super cute and super easy to put these together. And you can just use your chipboard or your um i'm gonna have to glue this mat down it just doesn't want to stay so you could use your chipboard or cereal box whatever you have to make these a little sturdier and then just use your paper clips and things that you have in your stash so here's our first one super cute i love the pucker up sticker with the lips and then we have this one that says best friends and it has the tassel and the bead super cute i love the little bling at the bottom here and then this is the one that i had pre-done and this one says i heart you with the black and white paper clip super cute so thank you for stopping by and checking out day three i hope you will stop back by tomorrow for day four and tomorrow we are going to be making some really cute uh, ribbon tassels just using some of our ribbon from our stash so i hope this inspires you to create these cute little um, embellishments uh, for valentine's day and i hope you will stop back by tomorrow and until next time stay safe bye